Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much for this opportunity to come together and spend these few moments uh, in God's Word and praying together. This week we've been talking about submission and how as believers it is so important to submit to God's Word, to submit to authority. Uh, and today we'll be talking about servant power. Matthew chapter 20, verse 25 and 26. But Jesus called them to himself and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and those who are great exercise authority over them. Yet it shall not be so among you. But whoever desires to become great among you, let him be your servant. The family of Zebedee had a plan. Jesus was gaining reputation. Jesus became popular. The word was getting around of his great miracles and teachings. The Zebedee brothers, James and John, had been among the first to follow Jesus. And now, they wanted to make sure that they would have the top positions in Jesus' kingdom. But Jesus was not impressed. People spend a lot of money and energy seeking to establish themselves, trying to prove their worth, seeking to get the best possible benefits and rewards. But Jesus' teachings are radically different on understanding the, the greatness and power of humility. True greatness takes the form of a servant, submitting to the will of God. True greatness in the kingdom of God recognizes that our salvation is secure and our sins are forgiven through the death of our Lord Jesus and His resurrection. We have done nothing to earn it and we can do nothing to deserve it. True power seeks first a life of righteousness, healing and restoration. This way of life will most likely not get you noticed. Neither will, it, neither will it make you first in people's minds. One of the strongest examples of servant attitude of Jesus was when he washed the disciples' feet. He demonstrated that leadership is service to the people. Servanthood is a gift and an expression of power. Yet you and I may not be literal servants, but as followers of Jesus Christ, we are servants of the Lord. Let us serve our Lord just not in our religious duties or in our words, but in every facet of our life. Let us submit to God and be a servant of Christ. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this wonderful opportunity that you have given us, that we may be called servants of your kingdom, Lord. We pray, God, that you will empower us, Lord, to be faithful stewards, to be faithful servants in your kingdom, Lord. Help us not to look at positions or to be noticed to God, but help us to follow what you did, O oh God, to walk the heart of servanthood. Pray, Lord, that you will teach us to walk in this way, to glorify your name. Yet, even as we walk in servanthood, we walk in the power of the Holy Spirit through your anointing upon our lives. We thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.